Gary Dordon has been a fixture on many of our TVs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as a fan favorite, Warwick Brown on CSI Crime Scene Investigation. And now he's leading Man on the Big Screen in Redemption Day. I can't wait to see this. Take a look. Captain, thoughts? It's been 24 hours. We have not heard from El Hadi. That is alarming. We need intel on the ground now, sir, and not just from the Algerians. Once we find them, we can extract them. Wow, there you are, Gary. Welcome to DBL. <laughs> Happy New Year. Okay. Thank you. So we have Happy a New Year. Thank Happy New Year. You. We have so much that we want to talk to you about, especially this new film. But since we are all collectively relieved that 2020 is over, we want to know from you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exhale, right? Uh, Let's how are leave you... the past in the past, shall we? I like it. I like the way you think. How are you <laughs> look, looking ahead into 2021, Gary? Well, we with all opportunities. First of all, I'd like to send a shout out to uh, Raphael uh, Warnock for, uh, for winning and, and being, be, being a yeah, baby. Um, fantastic win for him and John Ossoff as well. Mm -hmm. So that was fantastic. I'm and here Stacey in Atlanta Abrams, shooting another project. And Stacey, and Stacey Abrams, Abrams, who Abrams, led yes, the initiative. I adore her. Yes. Okay, sorry, yes. okay. Blessings to all of them. I'm here in Atlanta and, and a lot of people were out mm -hmm. uh, campaigning and, and getting people to vote yesterday we were we had the cast we were doing a zoom uh table read you know what this has been a challenge just the technology working from your home or your hotel room with trying to figure out the lights and you know tricky hopefully by the end of this i'll be a really good tv director <laughs> <laughs> that's 2021 is teaching us all how to dyi <laughs> In the most horrendous way, my light is terrible at home. Okay, uh, you meant uh, we mentioned I mean. it's terrible. We uh, you played Warwick Brown on CSI Crime Scene Investigation, which of course was one of the biggest shows in the world during its long run, even attracting guest directors like Quentin Tarantino. What was it like working with the legendary director? What was that like? Quentin was awesome. First of all, Quentin's a very personable guy, huh. and he's full of passion. And he, he gives you back the passion that you had when you, when you got into the arts because he's such a film buff and he's such a, a music buff. Mm. And he got on the set with us and he brought us together as a cast and he just said, I like your character. Your character did this and I remember this episode and he had seen every episode wow. and he remembered every piece of things that I had forgotten about. Uh, and then he gets on the set and he's just having a good time. He laughs a lot. He's got a very loud, beautiful laugh, and he's full of vibrancy. And I got to hang out with him, and I, I was hanging out at his house with a bunch of people. He's a really cool dude to work for, and I'm a big fan. Yeah. So that's also a good, a good, uh, a good day at work yeah. when you're working around your heroes. You know. Very cool, Gary. I just have to say off the top, you got these girls a little giggly. In Shut here. up, Jess. That's true. They're it's laughing not true. a little bit, a little bit more than usual. <laughs> I, I have to point out. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm, just, I'm a little Sorry, I'm, I'm giggling too. Thank Fine. you. Thank all right, all right. Break it up, everybody. I have a question to ask. So, Gary, <laughs> your, death, your death on CSI, your character's oh, death on CSI, God. was devastating for fans. Mm -hmm. But what you're, I, you're like, the girls are giggling, so you die. So, <laughs> what happens when you die? The question is, <laughs> you uh, were, I, I see your angle there. I, I like that. Gary, you were reportedly dead in real life. What was it like right. waking up to that news? It had to be crazy. I don't know. I don't read the internet, so maybe you read more than I wow. do. I mean, people tell me all kinds of stuff on the internet. But the one good thing that I know is that, you know, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. It's a crazy <laughs> interweb of information. I'm still alive and kicking. But I was kind of happy because I was like, great, this gives me an opportunity to start again. Yeah. Maybe a pseudonym. I know, right? Um, okay, so we got to talk about Redemption Day. A lot of us are very excited to see it. You play a decorated U.S. Marine, but your character also struggles with PTSD back in his civilian life. Let me tell you, a lot of our viewers can relate to this, um, including myself personally within my own family. How do you tap into mm. that struggle for your character? Well, fortunately for me, um, when I got the script, that was one thing I wanted to concentrate on. I, I've known uh, quite a few people in the service industry, uh, Navy SEALs, Rangers, Marines, that I've befriended over the years. And a lot of things that they talk about is after they, they've 
uh, done their duty and they've come back home to work in civilian life, it, it's a lot more difficult because they're not sure who has their back. You know, a lot of times people in the workplace are not often and still with the same amount of principles and, and honor systems as, as they are on the force and in the armed service. So uh, that that part of the character I wanted to flesh out a little bit more, and I wanted to, to give him some more dimensions. And I think the PTSD thing is very prevalent in our armed services community. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to bring some, some, some notice to that yeah. and, um, and maybe do a bit of an honor because I, I crafted my character off of a few friends that I know that are – our career Navy SEALs. Wow. wow. Uh, so hopefully that comes across. Wow. So personal to you. And I, yeah, I just thank you for helping destigmatize PTSD. And uh, we cannot wait to see the film. Redemption Day comes out in theaters awesome. on January 8th and digital on demand January 12th. That's my birthday. <laughs> okay. Gary Dorgon. <laughs> really? Dar Gary. Happy free birthday. Thank you. So uh, hopefully you'll be sitting down with some popcorn and your birthday and a glass of champagne and, you know. And some Gary. And right. some Gary. That's all some I need. Gary. That's all we That's need. Wow. Yeah. Gary. A little popcorn, a little film. <laughs> Gary Dordon, thank you so much for chatting and, and stopping by. My I pleasure. apologize Sorry. on behalf of all of us. We'll be right back. Bye. <laughs> no.